Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is going to be a Dragon Gate USA video. All right, the first show I want to talk about is Open the Ultimate Gate. Uh, this show took place uh, right before the pay-per-view uh, for Dragon Gate USA during WrestleMania weekend. So it pretty much went unappreciated. There was very, very little buzz for this show, uh, which is a shame, you know, because it's a great show. You know, it only had six matches, very, very little filler, a very, very short show. But, uh, you know, it was still a great show, though. Everything was really, really good. Um, you know, the first match was Yokosuka and Horiguchi taking on Mike Quackenbush and Jigsaw. Just another great tag team match from Quackenbush and Jigsaw. Their, their tag matches in Dragon Gate USA are pretty much going unappreciated. But uh, this is an excellent, excellent opener. TJ Perkins versus uh, Yamato. I thought this was very, very solid. I really enjoyed it. And then we had Kendrick and Moxie taking on Jimmy Jacobs and Paul London. Kind of a, uh, you know, they had these guys work together the whole weekend. And, uh, you know, the matches were kind of average to me. I really wasn't. Uh, this is actually the better match, better than the actual pay-per-view match. But, uh, you know, the, the, the post-match stuff was really, really uh, entertaining. You know, uh, Kendrick did a great job, particularly on this show. I mean, it just had a nice shoot-style feel to it. They, they really, really, uh, it, it, everything just felt real between these guys. I really, really enjoyed uh, everything that they did on the mic. And then uh, Teddy Hart actually came out, did a huge spot. And uh, I think he broke his clavicle bone. So that's pretty much what it was. But overall, I, I enjoyed it pretty much for the uh, post-match segment. And next up, we had Shingo versus Masabi Yoshino. You know, this wasn't supposed to be a uh, you know match of the year candidate. This didn't get a lot of time. This is supposed to play a nice supporting role on the undercard. But, you know, I really enjoyed this match. I love both of these guys. Masato Yoshino is probably my favorite uh, Dragon Gate USA wrestler. The guy's is so athletic. He's probably the best athlete in all of wrestling. If you haven't seen it, you've seen him before, you're definitely missing out. Because this guy is just amazing. And I would say that Shingo is probably the uh, best performer in Dragon Gate USA. As far as match quality goes, this guy probably has the is the most reliable guy. Uh, but I'll talk more about Shingo later. But I thought this was really, really good stuff. I thought there was good psychology. I just, I, I thought it flowed really nicely. Three and three quarter stars. and probably higher on this match. A lot more higher on this match than most people are. But uh, I just thought it was great. Uh, next up, we have uh, the Open the Freedom Gate title match. This is BB Hulk versus Maruki Doi. Um, now, BB Hulk, we're going to talk about a lot about him during this video. But, you know, I like this match. You know, he's pretty much growing on me. I, I wouldn't say that he should be the... Uh, the champion for a whole year, carrying Dragon Gate USA as the champion for a whole year like he's doing. I, he probably would not be my choice. But the thing about him is he pretty much needed the belt more so than anybody. I mean, he, he wasn't as established as some of the other guys in, in the United States, like a Sima, like a Shingo, or like a uh, Masada Yoshino. They, they, he just hasn't been over here at wrestling PWG and ROH and FIP as, as you know, some of the other guys. So uh, this has been great exposure for BB Holtz, you know, to be the uh, champion. And, uh, you know, like I said, he's growing on me. I, th I think he's very, very charismatic. I think he does a lot of good things in the ring. I just wouldn't call him great yet, though. Uh, and him and Naruki Doi, as most of you guys know, Naruki Doi is very, very well respected. He was the Open the Dream Gate champion. That's pretty much the championship from Japan, uh, you know, in 2009. That, he was the, pretty much the main guy. Um, but, yeah, this actual match, I mean, it wasn't one of BB Hulk's better matches that I've seen. But uh, it was still very, very solid. All of his matches are pretty much, you know, on the same level to me. Uh, the Dragon Gate USA matches that he's having. So this was still good. I'd probably say it was slightly even better than Shingo and Yoshino. And then we have the main event. We had Shima, Gamma, and Dragon Kid teaming up to take on Jack Evans and the Young Bucks. Uh, I mean, this was good. I, I mean, this they did a good job of not overshadowing the uh, the six-man tag that, that would take place the next night, which was probably a lot better than this. But this was still great, though. You know, you get to see the Young Bucks go out there with the Dragon Gate guys. They did a great job of... Uh, you know, explaining how Seema wanted to get revenge on the Young Bucks. Because if you guys remember on the first pay-per-view, the, the Young Bucks actually stole the show and got the win over Seema. And I think it was Yokosuka. So, yeah. I, I mean, this is still four stars. I'm probably not going to go four and a quarter like like some people have. But, uh, you know, Jack Evans looked great out there. Jack Evans has improved a lot. He's really toned up. He's added some muscle. And you can tell he's just a better wrestler overall. So, uh, yeah, a great show. That's Open the Ultimate Gate. Definitely yeah, check it out. All right, next up we get the Canadian debut for uh, Dragon Gate USA. Now, I thought the show was very, very underrated. Once again, this is a great show. I'm going to give this an 8.5. That's how high I am on it. And, uh, you know, the Canadian crowd wasn't that uh, big. You know, they were very, very small. But the crowd was great, though. They really uh very, very good uh, crowd reaction for this show. Once again, Mike Quackenbush and Jigsaw had an excellent, excellent opening uh, tag team match up there. Um... Seema and Jimmy Jacobs. I thought this match was almost great. I, I really feel like this was even better than Jacobs' match with uh, Chuck Taylor at Evolve 4. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, one of the best Jimmy Jacobs matches in a long time. He's in there with Seema, so, you know, it's pretty much ex exactly how you would expect. You know, just a great match between those two guys. Uh, next up, we had uh, Naruki Doi versus uh, 
Masaki Mochizuki. I mean, I think this is kind of underrated. I thought it was a nice solid three and a half star match. That's just me. And then we had, uh, it, they actually had a showcase match on here, which really, really impressed me. I think it was the uh, Maximum. I guess it's like an independent uh, company from Canada you know, featuring Tyson. Tyson Dukes was actually involved in the match. It was just really, really good stuff. A lot better than you would expect. And ne next up, we had Dragon Kid versus Masato Yoshino, two out of three falls. They had, they were building this up the whole show, and uh, some of you guys can remember they had a lot of matches uh, on the first two shows, you know, Dragon Kid and, and Yoshino. You know, their matches weren't that uh, long. A lot of people were kind of frustrated because we thought, you know, they could have these epic matches. And I actually thought, like I said before, I actually thought this would have main evented the first uh, Dragon Gate pay-per-view because I thought this, this was such an intriguing matchup. And the two out of three falls, I thought this was great. I'm going to give it four and a quarter stars. Uh, a, a match of the year candidate for sure. Uh, definitely the best match that I've seen them have in uh, Dragon Gate USA. Um, you know, a two out of three fall match, this went about maybe 22, 23 minutes. Now, now I know some people would say that that's kind of too short for a two out of three falls match. But in my opinion, two out of three falls matches don't have to be long to make sense. I mean, look at Benoit versus Jericho from SummerSlam. I, I thought that worked. You know, that was only 15 minutes, but I thought the submissions were very, very realistic. I thought when Jericho tapped, you know, everything made sense. And same thing here, you know. I mean, there was probably maybe like seven or eight minutes between each fall, and I, I just thought it worked. Tremendous action, tremendous chemistry. You can watch these two guys wrestle all day. And then uh, next up, we had a tag team match. We had uh, BB Hulk teaming up with Pac to take on Yamato and Shingo. Excellent match. I mean, just uh, a very, very kind of hardcore. I mean, they, they pretty much brawled all around the arena. And then when they got into the ring, there were some high spots. Uh, Pac looked great. Pac has even improved. Just like Jack Evans improved a lot, put on some muscle. He's not as botchy as he used to be. And, uh, you know, Yamato played an excellent heel in this match. He got a lot of heat. Uh, so this is this is just an excellent show. I, I definitely recommend everyone to pick it up. Once again, the show hasn't got a lot of buzz because it was not a pay-per-view. So uh, definitely check it out. All right, so next up we have Uprising. Uh, a lot of people were kind of uh, down on this show. You know, it kind of got mediocre scores. But uh, this show actually shocked the shit out of me. I, I thought this was uh, pretty much great. Uh, Akira Tozawa and Mochizuki in the uh, first match. I really enjoyed this. I thought uh, Akira Tozawa... He's like a little bull out there. I just I just think he's so much fun to watch. And, uh, you know, Mochizuki, uh, for, go, for those guys that don't know, he's pretty much like a veteran. You know, I think he's been around since uh, the Super J Cup in 95. So he's been around for a while. And uh, I thought that was a good opening matchup. And then we had Jimmy Jacobs and John Moxley, the no DQ match. I thought this was really, really fun. Uh, you know, I pretty much loved it. I, I love how Moxley uses the valet as just like a decoy. And, uh, you know, uh, Jacobs actually speared her. I mean, it's just a really, really fun match, a fun aftermath. Uh, Kamikaze USA got involved at the end of it. So, yeah, and for those that don't know, John Moxley is actually the leader of Kamikaze USA. Uh, I'll talk more about that later. It also features Yamato and Akira Tozawa as well. All right, so next up, uh, we had Naruki doing Pac versus Mike Quackenbush and Jigsaw. Uh, excellent at match. This, this is probably Mike Quackenbush and Jigsaw's best match together in Dragon Gate USA. And uh, Pac is in there, so you expect a lot of high flying and Naruki Doi. I love it when Naruki Doi does the uh, the shock shotgun drop kick when he ties a guy on the ropes and just drop drop kicks the shit out of him. I love that spot right there. So yeah, this I mean you can, this is probably the uh, I would say this is the match of the night. Yeah, it's slightly I'll, I'll give that the edge. And then the the other match we had was uh, Shima and Dragon Kid taking on Yamato and Shingo. Um, I mean just just another excellent match right here. I believe. Shingo actually got the win over Dragon Kid here. This is the the selling point for this match was that you know this would be the first time Shingo and Dragon Kid got in the ring together. As most of you guys might remember, uh, Shingo actually turned on Dragon Kid. I believe it was at the uh, Fearless pay per view after uh, Dragon Kid lost the title shot to BB Hulk. But yeah, I mean this is good. I, I like the finish here with uh, Shingo power bombing uh, Dragon Kid off the top rope. I mean I just thought there was a lot of chemistry. I think it's kind of underrated. Uh, I mean that's just me. And then the main event, we have B.B. Hulk and Masato Yoshino, the Open the Freedom Gate title match. Uh, I mean, Yoshino going for the championship against B.B. Hulk. I mean, can't really complain about anything here. I mean, um, I would actually say this is B.B. Hulk's best match so far in Dragon Gate USA. I mean, I, I really, really enjoyed it. You know, But at the same time, I wouldn't call it great, though. I still give it three and three quarter stars, a high three and three quarter stars. I, I think the problem with... Uh, you know, we're pretty much used to seeing Yoshino wrestle in tag matches. He just doesn't have a lot of, uh, you know, finishing maneuver, maneuvers to bust out. You know, other than the uh, crucifix bomb that he does, I mean, he just doesn't have, like, a lot of explosive offense. He's just very, very fast-paced. And, uh, you know, it was a fast-paced matchup. It was a beautiful match. You know, it was, uh, I, I thought the ending was kind of repetitive, though. 
with you know BB Hope doing everything he can to to make uh, Yoshi, to pin Yoshino. I thought it was slightly uh, repetitive, but you know, still a great master, and still BB Hope's probably his best match in Dragon Gate USA. I, I really enjoyed it. Definitely better than the Dragon Kid match, and and probably better than the uh, Naruki Dory match as well. All right, and next up we have Enter the Dragon 2010. I mean, we've been waiting to see this show and this match for a very, very long time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this show was great. I think everyone should definitely pick it up. Uh, I'm going to give this a 9.0. Uh, you know, we have Ricochet, Chuck Taylor, uh, Adam Cole, and Eric Cannon. Now, I know some people are giving this the N.A., but I feel like these guys work their asses off. I really, really enjoyed the match. One of the funnest matches you'll see all year. I mean, uh, you want to say it's a spot fest, whatever. I, I just thought these guys worked really, really well together. I thought it flowed really nicely. I didn't think it was the spot fist that some people made it out to be. And, uh, you know, just so much fun to watch. Ricochet is on a tear right now. I mean, the guy is just in insane. He was definitely the most impressive guy in this match. Adam Cole impressed the shit out of me. So did Chuck. All these guys look great. Chuck Taylor as well. Um, so let's move on to the next match. We have BB Hulk versus Nasaki Mochizuki. This is for the Open Freedom Gate title. Uh, once again, I wasn't, like, overly blown away by this. Uh, Mochizuki wrestled a very, very methodical style. This is more of a, uh, you know, technical hold-for-hold wrestling type of match. However, though, the crowd was great here. They gave it a lot of respect. It, the crowd exploded with a huge This Is Wrestling chant, but it, it felt real, though. Like, it felt legit. It felt, like, very, very appropriate. Um, but, you know, B.B. Hulk actually retained. Um, once again, you know, B.B. Hulk is good. I, I just, I don't know. Like I said, he just, he just doesn't overly impress me, you know. He's the thing about him. He's proven that he could have the great match. You know, Shingo got the awesome match out of him in Japan at the Kobe Festival, but uh, in Dragon Gate USA so far, even even against Shingo at, at the uh, Bushido Code of the Warrior pay per view, he just his matches just haven't clicked yet. And I, I feel like the champion of this company really needs to deliver above and beyond expectations. You know, that's just me. But uh, you know, still a good match, though. Still very very enjoyable. This wasn't like the main event or anything, so it was uh, it was a nice great match right before intermission. Uh, so next up. The, we had the uh, elimination match. We had Kamikaze USA versus Chikara Shotgun uh, or Shogun, whatever, however you pronounce it. But yeah, you know, you had Yamato, uh, Kira Tozawa, John Moxie, and Gran Akuma of Kamikaze USA taking on uh, Masato Yoshino, Quackenbush Jigsaw, and Hollow Wicked of Chikara. Uh, Yoshino actually joined Chikara because uh, he hates uh, Yamato. Uh, I, I don't know why. That, that's, that's how they explained it. Uh, I know Yoshino and Yamato actually. Uh, had a big match in Japan where Yoshino took the uh, open the Dream Gate Championship from Yamato. I, I I know that, but I'm not sure why they exactly hate each other. So, but yeah, this match is great. Just another great elimination match. We've seen some great elimination matches this year with uh, you know at the Chikara Cybernetico and then at WWE at SummerSlam we had a, another great elimination match. But I thought this was uh, you know four stars. You know, still great. You know, Moxie got uh, uh, eliminated early because he got uh, disqualified. Then Jacobs came out. Mo Moxie and Jacobs kind of brawled back. Uh, to, to the uh, locker room, but you know, uh, Quackenbush and Yoshino, uh, they were just sole survivors here. I just thought the eliminations were great. I thought this was fast paced action. I thought it was very, very dramatic. It was just a very, very fun match to watch. So, and then we have the main event we have Brian Danielson versus Shingo, uh, a dream match here. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is great. I mean, holy shit, I'm gonna say this is probably uh, Dragon Gate USA's best match so far. I I'm gonna say it's right up there with the Davy Richards and Shingo match. I'll probably say I like both matches equally the same. And this is the kind of match that just held your attention the whole show. And uh, without a doubt, this is Brian Danielson's best match from the summertime. I mean, since after we got fired by the WWE, this is by far, you know, the best match that you could pick up. And uh, I'll say this about Shingo. You know, Shingo is uh, one of the best wrestlers in the world. I mean, look at him. He had Davey, you could argue that he had Davey Rich's best match last year. He had El Generico's best match last year. And now uh, Brian Danielson, he probably, Shingo and Danielson is without a doubt, uh, probably going to go down as Brian Danielson's best match from 2010. So I think that says a lot right there. Uh, I just love the match. I, I just thought, uh, everything flowed nicely. Great near falls, great submissions, uh, a great crowd. One of the best crowds all year. And the, the ending was phenomenal here. So, uh, everyone check it out. And, uh, you know, Brian Danielson actually did go over and then I think that was the right decision. Uh, even if they did know he was going back to the WWE, I feel like, um, this is a great send-off for him. It had a nice feel-good moment with Danielson winning. He actually made Shingo tap out with the uh, LaBelle lock, which I thought was, uh, just like I said, just an excellent finish. So everyone everyone check out Enter the Dragon. That was probably the, out of all the shows, this is definitely the show to get. But all these shows are great in my opinion. So, uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching.